A change in plans. When I left home, I had planned to document all the Pine Martin tracks I seen and the locations of each as I headed into the foothills to try and film some Arctic hares and hopefully see a moose or two along the way. However, I came across an area that has promising potential for a site where I could build a cabin. This area overlooks some outstanding moose habitat, as you can see from the moose below. I had been surveying the area for only a few minutes when I decided to give a couple of moose calls. Two minutes later, I heard a couple of loud sticks cracking, then this little fellow appeared. He was the first of at least five moose, three of which I got on camera. There was another moose approaching from my right and one from my left, maybe more. Watch closely and you should see three moose. I figured the moose would yard here in this area. It holds everything they need, food, shelter, and water. Yes, a cabin here would make for a great moose camp. I need to wait until the snow is gone so I can survey the land to make sure it's a suitable place to put a cabin on. But so far, it definitely has potential. Some of the things I'll be looking for will be ease of access during the spring, summer, and fall months. I know I can get here in the winter, I also need to inspect the ground where the cabin would sit. It needs to be dry and firm. And lastly, I need to find a good fresh water source nearby. Once I confirm those, then I'll need to see if anybody else has applied to build on this site. More to follow in the coming months. There's three moose down there. With a little work here in the spring, I could convert this area into a dandy moose hunting location. Trim up a couple of shooting lanes, cut a couple of trails getting into the bog, and select a good vantage point to watch and call from. There's two. And there's number three. If nothing else, I have found a good spot to moose hunt and snare a few rabbits next fall. Maybe even a place to set up a canvas tent. Remember in the last video I said I was uh, thinking about putting a uh, moose hunting stand right here in this tree? Well, the tree's just a little bit too small to hang up a, a good tree stand. However, I got a good clump of trees right here that I can easily build a ground blind into. It's overlooking a bog over here, a bog lead. Another one right here. Some cutovers over here, and this is a pond. This is a pond that comes all the way in through here. It's only a small pond, a little bog pond. But if you look right across the pond here, and I hope the camera can pick it up for you guys, but there's a couple of moose beds right over there in the snow, and there's a lot of moose tracks all up and around the edge of the pond and even even coming down and across the pond down there so this is promising this is exactly what I'm looking for I'm gonna leave here now and I'm gonna stay off the pond work my way down along the edge here oh shit I don't wanna wanna sink here because I know I'm high on the trees but I'm gonna work my way 
down along the edge. And I might come up here over here and check out that cut over. And uh, see if that cut over up there, right here, will overlook the upper end of the bog up there. All right, so uh, this is west over here, I'm pointing to the west. Prevailing winds should be coming back towards the camera in the fall. So it gives me all of this to look over with the wind in my favor. Now on, this, on the opposite side here, I got a nice bog lead that runs all the way down there. And with the prevailing winds, there's another pond. There's another pond just right in here. But with the prevailing winds going now that way, if the animal comes up through these leads or comes out through here, chances are I'll get to see him before he gets to set me. So I think this would make a really good moose hunting location. Well, I'm up here looking for Martin tracks. I just want to document the number of Martin tracks that we have here. So far, I've crossed um, one, two, three, four. This is my fifth set of Martin tracks in uh, about a three kilometer run, maybe four kilometer run. As always, thanks for watching and please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share so others may find my channel.